Okay, to assemble the vintage car into the wind tunnel, we have to open the vintage car. And we are going to cut a small portion on the bottom of the wheel so that it becomes flat. Okay, once it's flat, then we can open an assembly. To cut this, okay, we are going to draw a rectangular. Okay. So on the front plane, so it's there. So make sure that the rectangular will pass through on all the four wheels. So we have to extrude cut using through all both. So meaning on the forward direction as well as on the reverse direction. So once it's done, we are going to open a new assembly. Okay. Okay. So on the new assembly, we have here already the wind tunnel as well as the beetle car. So we can insert the beetle car, right? And then we can also insert the wind tunnel. Okay. In order for us to see the inside of the wind tunnel, we can use this section view using the top plane, right? So there now it's ready on top plane now we are ready to mate so we are going to mate the flat base of the tire and the floor of the wind tunnel okay so check so it's already made so we can only move this one sideways, okay? Or either we just fix, we can fix the wind tunnel, make it fix, all right? And then we do again the section view, okay? Check, and then we make the car to plot. So it should be plotting. Okay, now we can move the car, but it's always on the floor. So from this point, we want to make sure that it's on the center of our uh, wind tunnel. So therefore, we can select one line, like you get to select me, and then select this line, okay? And then this side, of the tunnel and then we use distance so now the distance is 338 but you notice it's not on the center so we can just reduce the number maybe we put 25 all right so it's on the middle meaning it should be 25 by 250 so 2750 okay right check 2750 enter all right now we also made the front of the car check okay now we check all right, and then this surface plus the line on the nose of the car, okay? Or anything that we can use, all right? So again, we put distance, right? Whatever distance you have on your worksheet, you have to put that one. Now it's 8,500, so I will change this number. Okay, I changed to 5,000, enter, okay, so it's 5,000, now you notice it's no longer parallel with the, so we can look for a flat surface, the only flat surface is this area, but first we check first, and then this flat surface okay 
not the edge should be the surface clear so the paste i want the paste okay now the paste and this one we just make them parallel so once parallel then check so now you notice the car is already made on the wind tunnel and re ready for blow simulation